Welcome to Wine Tripping TV's web series, Just a Taste. It's the wine review that you never saw coming or going. He's Jeff Gaskin and I'm Dan Ganchert. Each week we bring you updates from the world of wine. And in a recent episode, we covered ways that you can help fight breast cancer. Well, we're gonna continue with wines that give back. And this week we have One Hope Wine. So where's the wine? Well, Jeff, you have to believe. You have to believe that everyone can make a difference. You too can make a difference by purchasing One Hope Wines. They give 50% of their profits to partner charities, and they have a whole series of wines that focus on various causes. So you can be sure to find one that supports both your heart and your palate. The Chardonnay supports breast cancer research. The Cabernet Sauvignon supports autism awareness. The Merlot supports the fight against AIDS. The Zinfandel helps support the US troops. And the Sauvignon Blanc supports, well, it supports the earth. The One Hope team and Rob Mondavi Jr. came together to co-create the newest vintages, so you can be sure that they're high quality. And if you're watching on WineTrippingTV.com, just click on the link below the video to learn more about these wines. Hey, did you hear that 7-Eleven is now producing their own high quality wine? Well, if it equals the quality of their microwavable burritos and their fine coffee, I'm sure we can all say it's going to be a big success. Well, according to the OC Register, the brand name is Cherrywood Cellars, and the price point is between $8 and $9. They believe this will be a hit for adults born between 1975 and 1999, also known as Millennials. The Senior VP of Merchandising and Logistics was quoted as saying, we're targeting Millennials because they like convenience and to try new products. I, for one, am thrilled that the future of wine marketing is going to be brought to us by the generation that brought us the Snuggie. You know, it's a blanket and it's got sleeves. That's new and convenient. Bring on the 7-Eleven wine. Well, speaking of convenient, do you know that it's more convenient to just stuff wine in your suit than to actually buy it? Well, if you're a French diplomat, that is. Sacre bleu! TheDrinksBusiness.com is reporting that Marc Fonboustier, France's Consul General to Hong Kong and Macau, was recently caught stuffing two bottles of wine worth over 4,000 pounds into a suit as he was exiting the wine cellar a restaurant at the Hong Kong Country Club. Well, apparently he was caught in the act on camera and recently resigned his post citing strictly personal reasons. Well, I guess strictly personal reasons is the polite translation for Sacre bleu! Some are calling it the first act of French imperialism in years. Others are calling it, well, stupid. But there is good news for Monsieur Fonboustier. There's reports that the United Nations has even called to offer him numerous positions, including Treasury Secretary and Head of the Ethics Council. Well, that makes sense. But if Monsieur Fonboustier wants to stuff something into his suit a little smaller, but still as valuable, I recommend this product, Soiree. It takes its name from French, meaning evening party, but you'll want to use it all the time. Experts agree aerating your wine is the best way to help it achieve its fullest flavor, balance, and bouquet. Just pop soiree on top of your bottle and pour to aerate your wine one glass at a time. It also stops your bottle from dripping and adds a beautiful piece of handcrafted art to your table. Once you see it in action, you'll want to have a soiree. So join us next time as we take on a charity case of wine. Thank you for watching Just a Taste. This is Dan Gancher for Jeff Gaskin. Now go wine tripping.